Hey YouTube, welcome back. Jim's Day Boy Scout here. And today we are going over some chicken coops, some options. My aunt, we gave her some of our chickens. These aren't the ones that you'd see in my coop on my previous channel, Ethan M. And the way she built this, she got some, some wood, I believe, I don't know what size pieces of wood there are, they might be two by fours or something. She just put some wire around it, put these, I believe these came from a road or something, these big pieces of wood, and she has sticks over there for roosting, so she can't afford anything like that. It's good to have something like that. So here it is, it's just an old poop shed. <laughs> oh, and another thing, we are not supposed to tell the chickens names because Colonel Sanders might come. The chickens must re remain anonymous. So he's built this door. It's a better door than what we used to have on our old chicken coop. The ghetto chicken coop. <laughs> So, very simple door. The shed's got rusty nails and everything in it, but, uh, but it doesn't matter because chickens aren't going to be getting hit by rusty nails. So here we are. Here's inside. She used some baskets and wood things to make nesting boxes. One up here, two down there. Sticks here to roost on. And our fe her feeding thing, she took, like we did, took some PVC pipe, big PVC pipe, and threw all her food and everything in there. And you should always have some, the eggshells. When you're done with them, throw them in a little container and give them to the chickens. It's very good for them. You might think it's cannibalism, but it works. So, got anything to say to you two? Look into my camera. Oh, yes. Alright, we got those feeding systems here. We have water there and food, I believe, it's out there. So, that's all I, we really got. So, maybe when I get home, I'll show you guys my chicken coop. It's a lot better, I have to say, because we spent a lot of money on it. About to get the shed itself was like $500 so that was an expensive thing to get so you can go cheaper routes but it was a good one and it was going to last <laughs> over some storms and stuff so all right I'll see you guys when we get home and probably tomorrow <laughs> when I get to my other chicken coop see you guys in a minute All right guys, welcome back. And we're taking a look at my chicken coop. So, we got a shed here, a $500 shed. Who's screaming? And it fits all 19 chickens. We have a lot of really cool chickens and we have a little garden kind of thing going set up here and some fencing so they can't get, get to it as easy as they could. Simple flash, of course. Now we open it up. We have a fan in here for summertime, since it is summer right now. And yeah, since it's summer down here, they need to be able to be able to well. Don't peck me. Have some air. So it's going to be a challenge to somehow open it. So we got our nesting boxes, we built this with some plywood I believe and got some wood up there. We had some some wood up here to for them to perch on. And at the bottom we have some I don't know what you call it, but they have that thing that makes it look like a wood floor. So put some straw or hay or whatever in there. And I'll get back to you guys real quick so we can look take a look at the run see you guys in a minute all right guys we're back into 
right now we're gonna look at the run. We got some stuff up here. I don't know what this is called. I don't know much about building materials. It might be roofing or something, and we made this door. Everything's covered with chicken wire. Because you don't want the chickens getting out and well. You know, pretty much. Gonna have to do this real fast. So we got some some logs here for them to do their stuff on. We have our little gonna close this a bit. Our their little metal water thing. And we have some logs over there and we made this little know if we made this but it's a little piece of wood for them to do their stuff on and i forgot to show you we took a big piece of well um pvc pipe and cut took another piece put some can put some connectors right there and we cut into it and that's how we made our food thing and we sealed off the other side chickens are pecking me so i had to get it that's why i got out so we got some more wood here to make them rest and they look like they want to challenge me back. I say back! <laughs> and we have a little kid tub, kitty tub, not tub, you can hear an idiot, a kitty pool for them to be cooled off and everything and yeah. I love this chicken. We have, um, this one, as you see, has rough. Don't bite my iPod! It has some wrapping stuff, medical tape on her foot. Still self-sticking. Because she got bumblefoot recently and she had to go to the Dodgers. So, everyone wants to peck my shoes. I guess it's pecky thing shoes day. And we have our mumble chicken, which is a beautiful chicken. Yes. You don't like to be pet? It's okay, baby. Hey! Hey! Alright, I'm gonna get out before I get killed by the chickens. Don't wanna be like, be like the people that were in birds. Don't want my parents to find me like that. No, sir. And of course, have to have that trusty flat shovel to, well, clean up chicken crap. Alright. Alright guys, this is the Doomsday Boy Scout, and I will see you guys in my next video, and remember, be prepared, cause you never know. No, Ethan, you're not ultimate survival tips, shut up. Okay, before I get fighting with myself, well, let's give you a quick look at the chickens. Alright guys, this is the Doomsday Boy Scout signing off, and I'll I'll see you guys in the next video, and remember, be prepared.